ccm.com and Barnes & Noble DVD locations. Hi everybody, I'm Ben Mankiewicz, welcome to TCM. Up next in our 24 hour summer under the stars, salute to Jimmy Stewart, we have Stewart, co-starring in a thinly veiled depiction of the Nazis' rise to power in 1930s Germany. From MGM in 1940, it's The Mortal Storm. To fully understand and appreciate The Mortal Storm, you've really gotta put yourself back in the 1930s. While Americans were reading about the Nazis' march through Europe in the newspapers, we still had newspapers back then, they weren't seeing the war unfold at night on 24-hour news channels. Well, then in 1938, a novel about the Nazi ascent to power, The Mortal Storm, hit bookstores. The book tells the story of a university professor, his children, and their friends, and how the rise of the Nazis affected their lives. The book became an immediate bestseller, and MGM quickly snatched up the film rights. Frank Morgan, who a year earlier had played The Wizard of Oz, was cast to play the university professor. Margaret Sullivan plays his daughter, while Jimmy Stewart plays a family friend who refuses to heal to the Nazis. The movie served as a cinematic reunion for Margaret Sullivan and her good pal, Jimmy Stewart. They'd known each other since the early 1930s. She'd been married to Stewart's great friend, Henry Fonda, and later married Stewart's agent, Leland Hayward. In fact, she and Stewart had already spent time together on screen as lovers. They made another wonderful movie that same year, 1940, Ernst Lubitsch's The Shop Around the Corner. Some argue Stewart had been in love, was in love, and would always be in love with Margaret Sullivan, which wouldn't be hard to understand. She had that effect. From 1940 and directed by Frank Borsegi, MGM's effort to tell the world what was really happening in Germany, an emotional plea for men and women everywhere to stand up against the growing threat of fascism. Here's the mortal storm. <laughs> 